guys and welcome to another video. Now this one is going to be all about my freelance makeup artist kit and how I was able to get my kit to be so compact. Now I'm going to share with you guys tips and tricks and how I like to set it up now and leave you with the words of wisdom that your kit is never complete. This is just how I am happy with it right now but throughout the years you'll always have some kind of change, some kind of edit, some kind of tweak. And this is what I like to call my kit version 3.0 because there's always something else you need to get, something you want to change, something you want to switch out. And I'll show you guys the excess or the surplus and how I store my surplus as well. So first things first, it is the bag that I carried it in. It is a Vasker bag that I got on Amazon. And the reason why I got this particular model is because it's the smaller version of the bags that you see of this style. It has the strap, of course, here, but it also has, let me close this up so it doesn't spin. But it also has the option of these three hooks, which has, focus, okay. These three hooks, which has the option of converting it from an over-the-shoulder into an actual book bag. So I can actually use it on my back and have it as a book bag. Now, the top section, there's a top section and a bottom zip section. So the top section, I have my palettes. Open it up like so. I typically just keep my palettes in here. On top. So here's the top section. Of course, you have a zipper insert pouch here. I typically don't have anything in this section because I don't need to have. There's a lift up pouch with holes. What I have in here are some eye patches, just you know, to be a little fancy, you know, you know. And that has the Velcro attachment. This part has this mesh insert where you can put things inside to hold. And it has this zipper compartment as well. To it, I don't zip it closed for the fact that um, whenever I need my palettes, I will just slide it out of here and put it in here. These are my condensed eyeshadow and blush, blush contour palettes. And this setup is always changing depending on the job that I have, what colors I know I'm going to be using, what colors I know I'm going to need. So at the top one, I have my usual suspects of the shadows. So I have my most popular neutrals, colors that I need to smoke out, and of course pops of colors, and I can mix and match to kind of create the rainbow of shades, if you will. But this is standard in a couple glitter shades if want to be a little fancy but not as dramatic as actual glitters which I have in my surplus kit that is typically reserved for an extravagant birthday or a photo shoot that I want to get a little crazy with but this is my standard go-to palette big enough that I have what I need then I have the blush category so I have the usual blushes and a highlight blush color, and then I have contour shades. So for somebody super fair, uh, for somebody medium skin toned, for someone medium as well, I kind of mix these two to kind of create something with warmth and depth to it. A little bit of a highlight for deeper skin tone, so it gives them a little bit bronzy, and I have more popular powdered foundation colors. So fair, medium, and slightly deep. I have a deeper colored powder in my external because you got to make sure you have the deep girls complexion colors. And I have an also a full palette that's this size of foundation powders, but these are the ones that I typically use. And then I have a translucent powder that I use for anybody whose skin tones are in between. And that is the Laura Mercier powder. So let's put these back and then I can show you the other section. Don't mind the voice, yes. <laughs> so then I have the next open section, which is the favorite, the piece de resistance, if you will. So 
So on top, this is how I have it. I have basically the brushes that I need to do about three client about three clients. That's the amount of brushes that I pop up here. Of course, I have many more brushes in my actual kit, but they are in my brush belt in my surplus section, which I will show you guys after this. So I like to put it where I have lips, liners, brows, my fluffier brushes for crease and shadows towards the back so it can stay and keep the shape, flat shadow brushes, foundation brushes, powders, crease, and more powdered brushes. I have color correctors towards the back, peach, orange, they have yellow on the other side so I'll be able to mix and match. I kind of prefer that one just because it's thin enough to get the job done and I can layer concealer properly on top of that. I have a slightly fancier mascara because sometimes people like to see a name brand in your kit. Do I believe all name brand has to be in your kit? Of course not, but just because of how society is, you might want to trickle like one or two fancier, fancier products in your kit. So you'll see a couple of brands in here, but my kit is pretty spread out because I don't depend on the brand. I depend on the pigmentation, the coverage, longevity, and wear of said products. Cool. Cool. Uh, waterproof, regular basic brow gel just to hold some hairs down disposables I like to keep them in a clear plastic so this plastic stays in here just to make sure that the disposables aren't touching the actual casing even though the case was cleaned before all these products were put in here it's just a little you know extra precaution so I have disposable mascara wands you can't say disposable mascara wands in here uh, disposable brow wands and then I have the same thing up here for q-tips thicker ones and thinner ones for more detailed in this section I have like my scissors for lashes my tweezers for lashes more so this is used for individuals got that at Sephora a spatula just to be able to kind of take products out in a sanitized way I have brow products a couple color pencils. I like to make sure I keep black and brown liner with me. If I don't have brown, it's not a big deal. I can just always use my brown shadow as a liner. But I like to make sure I always have a black pencil with me. I just recently switched to the Marc Jacobs, which I found has been really, really great, especially with making sure smoky eyes stay, especially in the waterline. So I'm, I left the MAC Smolder for like other products that other projects that I have for something that I don't need to last all day but for something that I need to last all day I prefer the Marc Jacobs I have my basic lip liner so that is a soft pink a red a nude brown a dark brown and a purple a deep wine kind of purple just to make sure I can cover any of the bases and use those liners for those combinations of lips I also have brow pencils and I have a brow palette in here depending on the person's brow hair I like to have both options so I have like two basic colors for brows pencils and then for that I do have a surplus a surplus extra for brows just because I'm when these two of the original MAC brow pencils which I did prefer better than the new versions because the new versions tend to break a lot once I finish these, then I'm going to switch over to the Anastasia um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencils, which I used to like before I went to the MAC ones. And then it has this Velcro that just keeps everything protected and keeps the brushes in shape. Because of the height of the brushes, it doesn't actually adhere to the Velcro strap, but that doesn't bother me one bit. Only thing that I wish that this case had that the larger one did is that it has a strap to connect to the base so that it actually stands itself up. So when I am on gigs and doing clients, I just like to make sure that this is against a wall or something just so it can stand up like so. So that was the only thing that I wish was changed about this. So Vasker, if you hear this, do this little update. Next, I'm probably going to zoom you guys in a little bit just so you can take in and see a little bit more of this section. Alright, so now we're into the inner part of my kit. And so in this section here, I basically have like 
hand sanitizer because that's a must. I have alcohol in a spray bottle to make sure I can sanitize all my products. Pencils, brushes, you name it. Uh, Fix Plus because that's my ride or die and I need Fix Plus all the time. I have lash glue. I switched over to the Duo Latex Free one just because I feel like it dries quicker. You're able to apply the lash on the clients faster and if you do have a client that is allergic to latex, you're not using the original so it doesn't matter because everyone will have latex on their eyes. So it's something that it's a, basically a no-brainer. This is Point Black. I just like to use it for on top of the lash band just to make sure the lash band is invisible. I have eye drops because you never know if someone has redness in their eyes or irritation. I have Duraline so if something is dried up, if I need to mix a pigment just to be... Um, mix a pigment just to make it more of like a actual... What do you call it? Missing the words. A pigment or an eyeshadow to make it into a funky colored liner. I do have this. So I like to keep that in my kit. That's something I got this year. Makeup Remover Sense Eyes. It removes everything, even a waterproof eye makeup remover. It even takes off hard set in lipstick in lip brushes. So I like to wipe my lip brush with this product first. And then I'll use an actual um, brush cleaner, brush soap. It just gets the, the coloring and the waxy residue out. I have a little bit of Connelly. This is the point part that I refill from a larger bottle. Just a little bit of a pampering if someone wants a little something extra on the skincare prep before I do the prep. Speaking of skincare, we're going to go down here. You know, the other section of skincare. So I have my pencil sharpener. I prefer the MAC one, the double-sided version because it does sharpen pencils like a dream without fussing. I have uh, micellar water. I prefer the Bioderma. At first I used the Garnier one. It's great too but then I got the Bioderma on a discount, makeup artist discount. So <laughs> I switched over because you know we always want to save a couple of coinage. So micellar water, I, this container usually has enough for me to last a while and then I have the larger one that I take from to have my personal section and for my kit. And this was like the jumbo container that I got from Namie's, where, which is where I got my discount from. So this one is for sensitive skin. So, you know, I always like to get a sensitive skin version if they have that. Just so if someone is a client and they do have sensitive skin, they aren't irritated when I use the product on them. I also got... And this is like a little tip for you guys. Sephora point perks and little samples that they give you online come in clutch. Especially in my revamp of my kit and making everything smaller. They have come in clutch. This very cute Laura Mercier powder. I use it, put it in my kit. This will last me a very long time. But then I also have the mini size that I purchased from Sephora. So I'll take the mini size and refill this one and have this one to carry from with me. So this is the one that I was telling you guys that I use on clients that don't match the skin tone of the powders that I have. Or this is perfect for setting under eyes. It sets under eyes like a dream. Without that white cast. So I have that mini and then... This, I've been doing this for a while. It is the Muji container, and then I have a P-Touch. Yes, I bought my own personal P-Touch because that is the joy of having my kit. I like the labels so I know exactly what everything is. It's quick for me to be able to restock and refill the products when I know what was supposed to go where. So this section, as of lately, has always been changing. Like, I used to have um, First Aid Beauty ultra repair cream in here but as of lately I haven't been loving that so I switched that out for the Caudalie Venusaurus Cream Sorbet which is moisturizing and hydrating for all skin types but especially for the oilier skin I do like to use it because it gives that nice amount of hydration without any extra oil or anything to throw the skin off balance and it gives a very smooth velvety texture Embryo Lease, because that's every makeup artist ride or die. I use this on anyone and everyone for the fact that it works for so many skin tones, skin types. 
uh, if someone is super, super oily, then I won't necessarily gravitate towards this. I'll use more of the Caudalie. But on photo shoots, this makes the skin look beautiful. It just makes anyone's skin supple and plump and ready for foundation application. Gold Light Strobe Cream from MAC. If someone wants a little bit of a glow, I can mix this in with a moisturizer or just put it on cheekbones and then put the foundation on top. It gives you that beautiful lip from within. Gold Light Strobe Cream will forever be in my kit. I know they have the other shades. And Peach for a while. Oh, Pink Light, the original, used to be a favorite for some people, but I prefer Gold Light, like, without a doubt. And then, of course, I have Max Lip Conditioner, but I also have the Hourglass Lip Conditioner. Just for someone who may have, or want to make sure that it, their skin penetrates a little bit more, or if they said that their skin is, um, their lips are sensitive, or they've had a rough day with, um, like, biting their lips, or their lips have just been super chapped and peeling, I will use the Hourglass one for their lips over the MAC Vanilla one. Just forget the oil in this one will penetrate a lot quicker, so by the time I'm ready to do the person's lip, it is hydrated, it is supple, and it is ready to go. So that is my skincare, and these are multiple products just packed in really tight so that I can have more while carrying less. And my back thanks me for that. Along with the skincare, we'll, we'll just go into this section next then. I also have the Hourglass Primer. I don't use primers. I feel like primers are more of a gimmicky thing unless they're a primer that deals with more dry skin which is why i love the hourglass n28 this one's almost done and i do have a backup this is the one primer that i swear by because it's a it's more of a serum primer and it, it does have a little bit of oil to it so when you do put it on the person's complexion it is supple it is soft the if they had flaky dry skin it's gone and you're able to put the foundation on their skin without having to work hard for it so yes this product will forever be in the kit that I just have max clear lip gloss in case I want to make any lipstick that I have in here into a gloss I can custom mix that as well without carrying 50 million lip glosses I do like to keep two different liquid lipsticks with me so this is more of a burgundy one and then more of a red just because this are, typically when someone's looking for a night out a party an event they usually go for these colors of course I have other colors in my actual lipstick but these are my favorite liquid lip colors so I like to have these on hand for something that is vampy and then for a classic red lip look I also have a MAC paint stick now this one is in the color deep brown it is a really great go-to one for contour for someone who is in the, how should I say, fairer persuasion, this color, and as I'm looking at the kit, I am actually going to depot a little bit of this. Just so you do get a great amount of the product, but I'm going to depot a little bit just so I can have a smaller package in here. And it is really, really literally like the perfect gray tone to contour someone who is of the lighter persuasion, a fairer skin tone, because they do need something to be a little bit ashier, a little grayer, to kind of give that shadowing and that perfect contoured color. I also have just a basic black liquid liner. I have the pencil, so I use the pencil with a brush if I want to do a smudging. Liquid liner, I mean, <laughs> cream liner, favorite for doing wings. And of course, MAC Black Track is my favorite. Moving right along. We're going to go up here. So in this section, I basically have my concealers and then I have the other foundations that I have. In this kit right now, I have one, two, three, four different types of foundations and it doesn't look like that much, but it's colors that I'm be I am able to perfectly mix to kind of get everyone's skin tone. And then I have a concealer with two different concealer palettes, two different concealer types of products. And then I have two bases. So this is groundwork if I want to make a base for Sucre Eyes. And I reuse some of the... If you ever get samples of foundations and such from the MAC store, I actually clean them out and reuse them for my paint pots. And then just a little bit goes in here just to keep it 
moisturize this gives you a very super super smooth finish it makes the shadow last long this one is groundwork so i use that when i want to do a smokier eye uh, if i want to do a taupey kind of gray colored smoke that looks pretty for laying low i use it for any skin tone just to kind of neutralize veins neutralize discoloration and then put the shadows on top or even use it as a shadow on its own if someone just wants a quick wide awake eye pro long wear concealer is my favorite for that beat 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 look or also i can use this as a foundation itself if somebody wants a super matte look i can mix this with a moisturizer or just share it out with a face and body and then customize foundation with that too so i have multiple shades i just like to keep it and in, in my kit i used to have the i still have my zuka but i used to have everything in like the zuka pouches and these would roll around a lot so i have like a hair tie that I just secure the product in and these are glass and I did break one once and I don't ever want to do it again so I use this to secure the product and then it's not moving around in this kit I also have my a few eye creams in here so this is a MAC Fest eye response this one is the Kiehl's eye cream and I did just get the Ulla Hamilton eye cream so depending on what I'm doing I can switch them out but these are little containers from oops sorry too high little containers from Muji that are perfect for that they're super slim and fit wonderfully in the kit and I can have just enough product for that so I have these two types of eye creams depending and also the Fast Eye Response Eye Mac is also good for cleanup work. Put it on a Q-tip, you can clean up any wing liner or, or anything for that matter. Instead of using an oil-based makeup remover, which is kind of hard to work back on top of if you've cleaned up. And I also have Skin Refined Zone, which is clutch product. When I say clutch, clutch for when you are on set and you have somebody that's getting really shiny you can dab this in their t-zone and it kind of sucks up all the oil without having the person look too powdered or overly powdered and then i like to use these pill jar containers for any cream products so i have this this is a, a luna illuminator which fits for a majority of skin tones i have a different illuminator in here which is the bron hyper real bronze fx which i really love and i have that in these muji containers all of my foundations come in or are placed in this 12 milliliter muji containers and everything is p touch just so i know exactly what it is and everything is put in color order and number order in the shade range of the brand in my larger section or my extras for like fashion weeks and my personal photo shoots I have other cream colors in these pill containers so perfectly secure it keeps my products nice and um, airtight so that air isn't getting into dry it out and it has just enough so I can be able to take a little bit use for highlights use forever I need but I like to keep Luna for my fairer complexions and then a golden bronze for my deeper complexions I have my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which is a newer addition to my kit. I have shades 4, 6, and 9, and I can mix and match them to be able to come with a variety of shades or even mix these with my other foundations. Don't be afraid to mix, like this one is a more luminous foundation, don't forget to mix, don't be afraid to mix this with like a more mattifying foundation, which I have, I'm going to show you coming up, or with a more sheared out foundation like the face and body that I have coming up to be able to customize and cater to your clientele. So this is if somebody wants a little bit more of a dewy skin, but they don't want the look of makeup, this one kind of creates that flawless application without it being heavy so love that love that and of course i keep it in like four six nine so everything will be in numbers so i know if i'm reaching for this i know what number that is if i'm reaching for this one back here i know what number that is and that's a g set g90 in cover effects <clears throat> next in this little section i have my cover effects foundations which have become my new love they were my love when they first came out and then i rediscovered them recently when i did a whole overhaul in january of my kit so i have the cover effects natural radiance foundations and i have them in five shades i found that i can have oh actually i have this one in four shades it's a natural radiance so i have 
neutral 0, golden 20, golden 70, and neutral 110. And I can pretty much mix and match any complexion with these. And then I have for the power play, and you guys know the Cover FX power play has been my jam. I've been using it for myself longer, like four or five months longer than I actually bought it to put in my kit. And I love it so much that I purchased it for my kit. So that's what these are. And I actually purchased six of these colors. So I'll be able to mix and match with the natural radiance one in case the person wants a little bit more dewy, but I have the perfect color in this one. So I got six shades in this and I can pretty much do anybody's skin tone, guys. And if you're wondering that this isn't deep enough, I have a very, very deep, dark concealer that I use for my deeper girls to kind of get that foundation look. And yes, you can use concealers as foundations and get a beautiful finish. And I have face and body so that Fashion Week, ride or die, these are in a bigger container just for the fact that when I first started depotting my kit, I had them in this container. And I have the colors C1, C4, C7 for my more yellow girls. And then I have N1 and N9 for my more pink, warmer girl, I mean pink cooler girls. So of course, for like the cover effects, if I want to make it slightly cooler, I can use these colors and mix them in to be able to shift them so that they are more cool or use these and shift them back so they're more warm. So I like to use these for that reason. So again, mixing, mixing and matching foundations is a beautiful thing. And last but not least, we're gonna get into this section right here. I'll put these babies back before I forget. Cause you know how I like to keep the kid organized. And what this has 100% helped me with, and not that I need the help in this apartment, but as soon as I'm done with a client, because one, the unload of the kit is 100% easier. I just put the towel down on the table. I always have a black towel, blah, blah, pop it out, put this on top, and my setup is done. Literally two minutes, everything's out where I need it. The only other thing I would do is this section, I'll remove, I'll move the mascara in the lash curler and I'll take these products and I'll flip it up so I can see everything that's here and I can easily bloop, grab, bloop, grab, bloop, grab. And that's it, the only thing I really have to organize is just to resituate that and I have an external case where I'll put my used brushes so that I'll be able to clean it. So what we have in this situation, I have a smaller palette that I made for my more popular Studio Finish Matte Concealers. Yes, they are still my favorite for covering blemishes, for making into a beautiful foundation. I haven't found anything that beats that, especially with the color range. So I have more of my yellow undertone ones, more of my pink red undertones here, and my beautiful deep dark one here that is the black brown color that I like to use on my girls during fashion week when I get, I have two specific models that I get now whenever they see me backstage that run to me and I will use that all over their skin and their skin looks, I mean their skin already looks amazing but when I use that on them it looks like butter, smooth, everything. So concealer palette, only thing I need and I can use this on every single person. I bought this separately and then I had another palette where I had these rectangular containers. I just mix and bent them into shape and then depotted a couple colors and melted them into these just so that they can fit. I also have a Makeup Forever palette just so that I'm able to use it to be able to scoop product out and place it on this. I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette because of course it's just that nice highlighted look that you apply on anyone's skin tone and it's like ooh lit from within and beautiful soft highlight radiant skin. Blessed to the gods. I have a Muji mirror. So of course when I'm finished with the client I just like to have them see and it sits on the counter like so so they can see themselves when I finish making magic. I have my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills brow palette, ride or die. Uh, anybody's brow, I can basically do it with this. 
I might in the future, I kind of like having it in this book, but I might in the future just take it out because of course the packaging takes up so much space. And of course you can get the refills of it and just pop it out and have refills replaced in these. But literally the package could be a lot smaller. But I like, I like whipping this out, my little brow book. So for now we'll keep it like so. And then I have my handmade lipstick palette so i basically have all the colors that i would need for any lip application i can mix and match i say someone wants something they like oh sometimes i'll have them choose and sometimes they're like i like this one but i also like this one so then i can kind of mix take my spatula and mix and match the colors i have my neutrals for any kind of skin tone i have my hot pinks i have my reds i have a blue i have a burgundy purple mauves funkier purple with hot pinks neutral pinks as well and then we got a little gray guy over there just for something a little funky so i can basically do any lip color of course i have seven spots for if there's any other color that i feel like i must must have but pretty much with all of these i have the colors that i need and if i need to shift i have shade shifters like i have the the white and then i have the black to be able to mix and match and then i have the names here so what i did and i've been doing this for like forever even before when i had my first palette which these were separate i typed the names in a chart so i know exactly what color is what and i just put a um clean piece of tape over both so it looks like it's a laminated name chart and i have it there so if someone's like oh i like this color that's blankety. That's what that is. So of course if they want to purchase the color, they know exactly what color I have used on them. Then when I'm done, just flip this bad boy over. And it is resituated, ready to close. And last but not least, I also have, this was a... I don't remember what kind of lash it was, but I had lashes in here that I never used. So I basically just cleaned out the case and then I had a disposable, the Ardell's that came with this kind of a packaging. So I literally just take, uh, how many do I have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have about eight pairs of lashes in this little compartment. Take eight pairs re-adhere them from their individual into here and I can give eight people some lashes with this just safe space safe saving container so any container that you have use it for this I literally just took the pack of like eight that Ardell has cut it the insert to fit this size and then pop it in if I wanted to I can put another piece here and pop four more lashes in the corner but we're not gonna push it we're not gonna push it <laughs> So I have that there. And that is about it for the kit, guys. Uh, super condensed. I could literally do anyone's makeup with this. If there are, like, specialty gigs that I have, then I do have, like, the excess and surplus of products that I have at the base. And I can show you guys how I have that organized as well. So basically, these are in my Alex drawer. So I just have the excess makeup that I have, things that I have like the full containers of that I use to depot. So I have like extra pads. I have my extra, my other eyeshadows, my other, um, other eyeshadows, other blushes, other highlighting palettes, face palette glitters that I have that I like the most, body lotions, my extra brushes that I have right there. So all clean, ready to go in case I need to grab one for a big shoot. Uh, this is my more favorite drawer, more recently <laughs> changed. So basically in here I have all the excess products that I would need. I'm just going to pan around. Should I show you guys? Ooh. So I have like extra powders, brow pencils, lash pencils, extra shadow bases. I have the full size containers of the foundations that I depot. I have extra lashes lip products so I know everything is here so if there's something that I don't have up there that I need it I will have it down here and then the lower drawer below this is just extra disposable disposable wands uh, mascara wands q-tips things of that nature nothing super fancy but yeah so that is it guys that is my lovely 
new makeup kit. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching.